Hello and welcome. This is Oli from uh, Clockwork Time. The website is clockworktime.eu, the Instagram and the mail address. So, today we have the battle of the chronographs. So I have three uh, chronograph watches here today. Let me zoom in a little bit. This is... Uh, I'm going to, to show you one by one. This is the Auerole uh, chronograph watch. This is the Lanto chronograph watch. And this is the well-known legend, the Poliot Sturmanske chronograph watch. So I'm going to do the review on uh, them one by one. Uh, this is the Auerole uh, chronograph watch. Uh, this is from the actually from the 50s and the diameter on this without the crown is uh, 38 millimeter 38 millimeter and 40 millimeter including the crown the thickness is uh, around 13 millimeters so from the glass till the till the bottom this is uh, powered by the so-called legendary uh, movement caliber landeron 248 the watch itself is only a manual movement, manual wind uh, chronograph watch. Let me just start it. You can see the chronograph hand started to move. So this is the start button. This is the stop and flyback button. So it does have two sub dials this is the second hand and this is uh, in th this one indicates basically every 60 se seconds elapsed so you can see the scale is up to 60 again so yeah this is uh, a pretty old one from the 50s and uh, the price on this one goes around i would say uh, Three four hundred euros, but it depends on the on the quality and on the state. This is in uh, pretty well, uh, like patinated uh, state, I would say. The crown of the watch is in good shape. The pushers are in the good in, in good shape. So the uh, gold plating is uh, all around in good state. No damages can be seen. So this is really a collector's. Uh, watch yeah this one is pretty accurate accurate and uh, it does the job really well for the uh, age it's around 70 years old <laughs> so the second one is the uh, Lanzo 17 jewels uh, chronograph watch uh, with the two uh, sub dials one is at the six o'clock one is at the 11 o'clock so you can see these uh, are at 3 and 9 and uh, the difference in, in this so the Lanzo uh, is powered by the movement EB8420 and this manual wind chronograph watch is exactly from 1974 the Lanzo is uh, basically standing for Lagendorf watch company so uh, Lagendorf watch company so Lanzo so this is a Swiss uh, watch uh, the diameter is 35 in excluding the crown uh, 35 excluding the crown and 37 including the crown uh, when the thickness of the watch is only 13 millimeters it's the same thickness as uh, with the with the uh, Auerole. The pushers are quite the opposite as you can see. While on the Auerole you can start with this, stop with this and uh, reset uh, the flyback with uh, the, the, the below button. On the Lanzo it's quite the opposite. So you start with this one and and with this one 
or start, stop and flyback. So the Lanzo is uh, really something. The case is in a beautiful, super uh, shape. No damages can be seen, no uh, wear. I would say this might even be a mint or NOS, new old stock. So every every pusher, every 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 part of it is is uh, just a beautiful state. Yeah, by the way, the lug grid on the Aurel I uh, forgot to mention is 19, while on the Lanzo is uh, 18 millimeters. I'm going to move uh, to the third one, and the third one is the legendary Poliot Sturmanske with the caliber, the legendary caliber of course, 31-33, the diameter of the watch is 39 excluding the two crowns and 45 including both of the crowns. The uh, lug width is 18 and the thickness, believe it or not, it's a thick watch, 15 millimeters. So you can see the glass and then the, the bottom. So this is a good example this is again the upper pusher is the start while the bottom pusher is the reset you can see it's doing nothing so I'll stop it with the start button start stop button and then the flyback this watch is actually uh, also with an inner moving bezel. You can see the secondary crown is uh, doing the work as the inner bezel. Uh, so you can you can do any any kind of measurements you would like. For example, I don't know, like, like on the diver's watch is exactly, but this is uh, built in in the, in the Poliot. The Poliot, you can see Sturmanske on the case back. And uh, yeah, the quality of this one is also I would I would call it NOS or mint 99.999 percent. The overall quality is superb. No wear can be seen. The glass is clean. Everything's super fine and perfect on this watch. So yeah, uh, compared the older and this one, I believe the the Sturman's case from the 70s or 80s but uh, still this is a Russian watch, this is a Swiss and the Lanzo is uh, also a Swiss watch. So if I might need to choose uh, between, I'll just zoom out a little bit, between, just a bit more, uh, between the three of those watches, I would say the uh, most uh, charismatic watch is uh, the Averle. The most uh, practical one is the Sturmanske, the Poliot Sturmanske, and the most good looking and unusual sub uh, dial uh, watch is, is the Lanzo. Uh, what about the prices? The, the, as I mentioned, this one goes from 3 to 500 because this is a kind of an old watch. The Lanzo goes around 4 500 as well while the uh, Poliot watch goes, uh, if in this good state, free, 350, maybe 400 uh, euros. So this was the mini review of uh, three of the chronograph watches, different eras, different uh, brands, different uh, manufacturers and all of them are like uh, one of the you can see the, just yeah all of them are kind of uh, the tool watches from the era all functioning all working perfect and keeping good time no issues whatsoever so if you have any questions please uh, ask below in the comments. If not, uh, just subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the uh, bell button somewhere, somewhere here and uh, you will be notified every time a new video will come out. Again, this was me, Zoli, from Clockwork Time. 
Thank you very much for being with uh, me today. I wish you a nice day and cheers.